If you like this video please click on the like button. Comment with the names of the movies you would like us to cover next. Click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified of our latest creations. We cover 100 movies from around the world every day. To advertise with our channel reach out to us. Our contact information is on our channel page. Now, let's move to the plot of this movie. Raja, an orphan boy, is a thief in Hyderabad. Mahi, a young girl, falls in love with him. Raja manipulates her by gaining her sympathy. She gives him a necklace, which he throws away because it is worthless. However, it always comes back to him. Twelve years later, Mahi's family treats her like a slave while they enjoy the money that her grandfather left behind. Mahi waits for her prince to come to rescue her. Raja is still a conman. But when he enters into the debt of Dhanalakshmi, a beautiful but not so innocent lender, he flees. Single quote. Meanwhile, Mahi's family wants Mahi out of the way so that they can inherit all of her money. They hire someone to kill her. Only to find out that in the event of Mahi's death, all the money goes to charity. Raja saves Mahi and treats her like a princess, which she waited for since her childhood. Raja made a deal with Mahi's uncles, which goes wrong when they thought that he demanded 45 crores. They hire a goon to kill Raja. And he kills Raja. Raja reaches Yamaloka. He gets to know that Yama planned his death to take revenge on Raja who once made fun of Yama. Drunkenly and threatened him. Raja creates confusion by stealing the Yamapasam. Since one in possession of Yamapasam becomes the king of hell. Raja promises festivals and parties and to make hell better than heaven. Yama contests his claim. Narada enters the scene and proposes an election. Both Yama and Raja agree. Yama, along with Chitragupta, tries to get the Yamapasam but fails when Raja uses his trickery by using a veil of a Yamabatini. Leading to a protest against Yama that he has to stop these atrocities. Yama's wife gets frustrated with her husband's behavior which is not true. And she leaves his mansion. Chitragupta suggests to him that he must call the three celestial nymphs. Ramba, Urvashi, and Manaka, which he disagrees due to his wife's suspicion. But he agrees to defeat him in the elections and make all his threats come false. Raja feels hopeless even when Yama insulted him and he would call his grandfather. Chitragupta stops him to do so and tells him that his grandfather has to get all God's blessings. But Yama disagrees with all God's blessings and orders his grandfather to appear in front of his grandson. Raja's grandfather appears in front of Raja and asks him why he's here. Raja answers his grandfather that his time isn't good enough. So he suddenly appeared here. Raja's grandfather motivates him and tells that he is blessed with the gift of dance. And he's the grandson of the man who made an alliance and won the elections with the support of the people. He tells Raja to dance. Due to which all the people present in Yamaloka rejoice. Raja wins the elections. However, Yama angrily insults him. Raja decides to use the Yamapasam to make Yama a human. However, the plan backfires when Yama ends up with the Yamapasam. After regaining power, Raja flees back to Earth. Challenging Yama, Raja finds out about the cruelty that Mahi has suffered and decides to fight back against her cruel family. Raja steals a whip and thrashes her family with it forcing them to become servants. Raja gets drunk and insults Yama again. This time, Yama decides that he and Chitragupta will enter Bulokam to avenge his insult. Yama disguises himself as the beautiful Dhanalakshmi. And Chitragupta acts like her father. Yama successfully manages in separating Raja and Mahi, whose love prevented Yama from interfering.
after Mahi's uncles call upon the goons that previously killed Raja. The chief hitman kidnaps Mahi for himself and hits Raja with his car. Raja is severely injured and falls off a cliff into the temple of Lord Nursimha in Simhishalam. Yama sends the Yamapasam after him to take his life. However, the divine power within the temple drives away the Yamapasam. Yama once again changes his form into Dhanalakshmi to lure Raja out. But Raja reveals that he knows Yama in disguise. Raja begs for only half an hour of life only to rescue Mahi and apologizes to Yama for his sins and all he has said and done. Yama realizes both of the errors caused him as well as his errors and becomes sympathetic but regretfully informs him and Narada that he cannot call back the Yamapasam. Raja fights off his enemies and is close to death. When suddenly the chain that followed him his whole life was revealed to have been blessed by Lord Nursimha himself. And it saves Raja's life. Raja and Mahi decide to live together and get married. But Yama gets Raja in trouble when the original Dhanalakshmi appears along with Sati in her hold. Demanding her dues. Yama asks him whether he prefers Yamalokam or Bulokam. At that time Chitragupta and Yama's wife appear arguing with each other about whether Yama is having fun with other ladies or not. Chitragupta tells her that she misunderstood Yama because of Raja, while she doesn't believe it. Raja uses his trickery over Yama again. This time he uses Dhanalakshmi's veil and ties it on the Yamapasam leading her to another suspicion about Yama that he hasn't mended his ways yet. Raja asks Yama whether he prefers Bulokam or Yamalokam to save himself from his wife. 